peeled up. Forty pound and one pence, because I'm not very good at getting it right. So we are off to Holy Island. <laughs> Put about the side. I'm gonna go and take a photo of that. I think I'm gonna go to Bamber. Um, just for the simple fact is that it took us that long to get here. I haven't even got the time to go on the island. Um, because I need to get back. So I'm gonna get take a photo, couple of photos of this uh, little watchtower thing, and then head to Bamber. It is a beautiful day. I haven't come in the right clothes or footwear to go for a walk along this sand. But I'm not going to be here for very long. So hopefully I can get a couple of decent shots that I want. I mean the sun's out nicely. Lovely clouds about. I think this will make a good long exposure. exposures uh, without any filters on um, but I've just tried the tent stop on <coughs> just to try and blur the clouds a little bit I mean there's not many clouds anywhere but the sun's just right above my head so the angle that I want to get I kind of get I kind of get um, so I'm just I'm gonna have a walk around the tower just see see what um, compositions I can try and come up with um, that, that should be made done for here and then shot but I think now because I've progressed quite a bit um, I think I could probably make that shot better um, because at the time I wasn't using filters or anything like that I think it was just a, just a plain natural shot um, so I was hoping that I could have made that shot better um, but I'm going to come back up here again anyway when I have got more time so that's me done here for now off to Bambra like I've just said 
hopefully I can get a couple of shots there before I head home. Um, and I think that'll be me for the day. As I was just recording, just that second there, um, past the kind of little tower on that little bridge, there was a heron right in the water. There was nowhere to stop. Absolutely typical. I don't even think I've ever been that close to a heron before. They're usually quite far out in the distance. Um, not like I've got the lenses to capture it anyway, because it's not the sort of photography I do. But it's still annoying at the fact it was just there. And if I could have, if I could have stopped, I probably could have gotten a, a nice image. Hey ho! foreground interest looking at the castle you can kind of see the castle from where the poppies are so I'm hoping I can just walk up to the top of these uh, sand dunes and that there's flowers up the top of there where I can get a good viewpoint of the castle that's what I'm hoping for anyway and from where I'm standing now or walking I can't see that I can't see any uh, flowers. So we'll see what time when we get up there. It's just getting up the top of this hill and there's no flowers apart from dandelion dandelions in. Uh, but there's no real foreground interest to be honest. Uh, I, mean, I know I did get quite a good photo a couple of years ago from further down in the dunes with the dunes is the foreground and the castle behind, but I'm not going to try and get that again. I'm just going to try 8 seconds. F8 there. ISO 100, just to see what that looks like. So there's nice clouds behind the castle and they're moving out towards like the sea. So I'm hoping I can just get just a slight, slight movement in those clouds. I don't want the two minutes. Done. I've got a couple of shots up at the top of the, the sand dune. And I'm just getting a couple of shots of the poppies. Um, you can just see the castle, but not, not the full castle, not what I wanted anyway. Um, so that's me heading home now, unless I've spot anything on the way back. But other than that, I'm off skis home. So I was, as I was driving along, I seen a field full of poppies and other flowers, and I finally get the shot that I wanted. So I'll let you decide whether you think it's good, um, but I'm really pleased with what I've just gotten. Um, I think that's probably what has been the highlight of my day actually. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that, so yeah, see what you think.